Hey, Bentbrook here. I just want to check in briefly to share with you some personalization of my Mora Eldris. Hey, Bentbrook here. I want to share with you some uh, personalization I did of my Mora Eldris, which is a, a new knife and sort of uh, explain um, the reasons behind what I've done. Uh, as you may know, the Eldris is a small neck knife or a pocket knife, as in pocket fixed blade. It has a very short blade on it, um, easily fits in one's pants pocket if you want it to, or it has the ability to hang around the neck. Um, Mora does provide a lanyard and a fire steel um, option to come with it if you want to go that route. But I have a lot of um, cordage and stuff sitting around. I also have uh, fire steel sitting around. So I've opted not to go that route. What I have done, uh, as you can see here, oops, as you can see here, is I have basically duplicated their um, extra closure. Um, a lot of the, the new ones, uh, the uh, kit for the Garberg, the kit for the um, uh, Eldris, both come with this retention. I just stitched, albeit not very beautifully, but functionally, a piece of leather on, put a snap on the front for an extra retention thing. Now I'll tell you, this knife doesn't really need a retention strap, but I am uh, I like the contrast and I like having some leather uh, with me. So as you move up here, I put this little uh, clip on. This allows me actually to detach the sheath if I want to detach the sheath uh, at any point and that's a sort of a convenience option. It means I can put this in my pocket. I could actually use this lanyard for something else, a different knife or, you know, compass, whatever else I wanted to do, uh, which is fine. As you move up, you'll see that I have uh, just did a little bit of a braid here. And then above that, I have some um, ranger knots. Now these ranger knots are intended, uh, or Celtic knots, if you will, they're intended to be, uh, they can, I can cinch them up. So if for some reason I wanted to tighten this up so that it didn't wiggle as much or tuck it in my shirt, I can do that. Um, but part of that is simply just the exercise of uh, tying those uh, for practice. Over on this side, what I have done is use a pressic knot and a quick release buckle here uh, to attach an extra fire steel I had. The fire steel itself is just attached with a double fisherman's knot uh, via this little cordage. But what it allows me to do is um, reach up and take this off so that I can use my fire steel uh, with my Eldris if I want to very easily without any problems. Um, the last uh, thing that I have done basically is right here. As you can see, I've put a um, breakaway uh, buckle on it so that if I the cord gets caught and it jerks around or something like that, it'll pop off and it won't hurt me. So. Um, that's about it. I um, hope you've enjoyed this short little video about the modifications that I made to my Eldris. Personalizations, I call them. I really haven't modified the knife at all. And uh, I'm going to think this through, try this out, see how it works. And if there's something else I want to add to it, I could. I thought about putting another pressic on the other side of the lanyard, for example, and hanging a little um, you know, pill capsule or something like that with uh, some tinder in it, uh, just as a redundant kind of thing. But uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to point out. The, the reason that I, I did my um, pressic on the lanyard the way I did uh, was so that I could slide the fire steel up and down, um, but I didn't want it to rattle against the case, and that was why I have it on the lanyard um, up a little bit. So anyway, a uh, very short little video about what I was trying to do with this. I hope you uh, find it interesting. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know, and I appreciate your time. Bentbrook out.